assalamu alaikum everyone this is sir fahad ali again with a new video in the last video we covered the needs and wants concept the factors of production and we were in the middle of chapter 1 so starting with the first video i would give some recap then i would start with the second video this is the second video of economics igcse economics the syllabus code is 2281 so giving a quick recap we studied what is what are needs needs are something which are essential for our living without which we cannot live and we gave some examples food water uh, clothing shelter these all fall into the category of needs then comes wants wants are those things without which we we can live but these things are necessary for us because we want to have more convenience more comfort in our life the examples were cars acs and smartphones these all are wants without these things we can live but we want to have these things because we want more comfort more convenience in our life then there was a concept of resources as i said that the, the the that in economics we are facing the basic economic problem when we have limited resources but unlimited wants Resor by resources we mean the factors of production the acronym for factors of production is cell c e l l c stands for capital the machinery the man made tools used for production of other goods and services e stands for enterprise the know how or the ability to run a production process l stands for labor the premises which are being used for the production and the other l stands for labor labor the man the human and physical the human physical and mental efforts of a human being so these are all things that now continuing with the second video first of all we would learn the concept of scarcity scarcity is when there is a shortage of resources sometimes when we see that the resources are very short as we can see that things which are very short as i said earlier that there are limited resources scarcity will always be of resources so when we have limited resources we have unlimited wants because we our wants are increasing day by day in the last video we discussed it in more detail concept so when we are faced with shortage of resources and we have unlimited wants we all want to satisfy our every want so what we have to do is to make a choice so we make a choice when there is a shortage of resources so we have to make a choice as the slide is saying the powerpoint slide is saying the choice gives us the concept of opportunity cost opportunity cost concept gives us opportunity cost concept as you all can see in your books which are you are referring for the igcse i refer the book of susan grant igcse economics but uh, you can go for the brand titley that's also a good book the opportunity cost concept is the next best alternative given up but students sometimes find it very confusing to get the definition as i'm as i have given the example for example a pen over a pencil then pencil becomes our opportunity cost because we gave a pencil for pen something which is given up as a result of choice for example i was given three products to choose one product out of the three if i chose one product then the two products which are left alone as a choice would be considered as my opportunity cost now the third thing is the production possibility curve when we see the concept of opportunity cost we have to go through the concept of production possibility curve production possibility curve shows the maximum production of two goods that is capital goods and consumer goods capital goods are the man made tools used for making goods and services as i told you earlier in the factors of production we learn this definition so in the consumer goods the other goods are consumer goods consumer goods are goods that are consumed directly goods that are consumed directly examples are pencils because we don't make anything from the pencils we consume it directly we use the pencil for writing directly as it can be eatable items other things now coming to the production possibility curve we would see we have a graph which illustrate these things the bpc scenarios figure 1 point figure 1 figure 1 shows two goods that is capital and consumer goods why we are learning this concept the uh, reason behind this beh behind learning this concept is due to opportunity cost either 300 units of capital or consumer goods can be produced as in this economy we are faced with the concept of scarcity then we have to make a choice then we make a, when we make a choice we face the opportunity cost that is the alternative best alternative given up which was the other option which we gave up as a result of the choice so in this graph we can either go for these 300 consumer goods or we can either go for these 300 capital goods so we have to make a choice the next is figure 2 figure 2 shows that point c which is in efficiency as you all can see this is point c inside the production possibility curve 
a point which is inside the production possibility curve shows the inefficiency of resources that is we can produce on the curve but we are not producing on the curve because we are not using our resources more efficiently for example i have three papers and papers fall in the category of land because trees are being cut down in order to make papers so if i have three papers and i am using two papers out of the three then i am not using my resources efficiently and if i won't be using my resources efficiently then on the production possibility curve we would see that it the it would be a point inside the production possibility curve it would not be on the curve when it is on the curve then the resources are using resources are being used efficiently whereas point d is unattainable this is point d you all can see why point d is unattainable point d is unattainable because we cannot produce beyond the curve the curve is the maximum limit where we can produce with the given factors of production we can produce more but but when the factors of production are increased in future time period not with this these uh, current factors of production now comes the fact figure 3 3 as you can see i would be discussing the two points point a or point b figure 3 shows that country is producing at point a which is giving 200 units of wheat and 300 units of cotton in this uh, in the first diagram we said that we are facing opportunity cost so we have to choose between we are facing the concept of scarcity we we have shortage of resources then we came to the choice then in the choice section in the production possibility curve we have to choose a combination as if we are producing on the curve we cannot go for the whole wheat because if we would, if we would go for the whole wheat we would, if we would be producing full amount of wheat then we can't produce cotton this is the opportunity cost of concept so we have to make a combination if we would go for wheat so it would be difficult for the people to make cloth and buy cloth or wear cloth so it would be difficult situation and if we go for cotton we produce the cotton at maximum so it, we have to forgive we have to give up the production of wheat so if we would give up the production of wheat then it would be difficult for us to consume or for us to eat and without food we cannot live so we are faced with a choice then out of this choice we have made a combination here at point a we are producing 200 units of wheat and at point and at and at point a we are producing 300 units of cotton as you all can see whereas a movement from a to b increases cotton by 100 you can all see the cotton has increased from 300 to 400 but it has increased by, but as we can see on the other hand side we have faced a decrease in the output of wheat as earlier the output was 200 then now the output is 160 so we have faced a decrease of output by 40 earlier it was 200 and now it is 160 so there is a decrease of 40 in wheat and there is an increase of cotton by 100 units as you all can see this is a description it is saying the opportunity cost is 40 units of wheat given up as opportunity cost concept is the or best alternative given given up so we gave up 40 units in order to get 100 more units of cotton so this demonstrates the concept of opportunity cost now we have the production possibility curve scenarios of economic growth as you all can see that on the left hand side we have great britain and on the right hand side we have united states so they are producing two goods units of steel units of wheat they both are producing the same two two goods as it is saying an increase in capital goods can only be due to an increase in technology as you can see in the unit of steel the production is still fixed it is fixed at 40 it can maximum go go by 40 but in the units of wheat the production has increased this is called growth the lines have shift outward but this is a growth in the units of wheat only this is a this is a shape where you can on, you can only say that there is an increase in the factors of production that have that have led to an increase in the units of production wheat been increased to 26.7 and on the other hand side in the united states diagram you can see there is an increase in the production of units of steel whereas the units of wheat are still fixed the maximum quantity can go by 50 units in the units of wheat whereas the maximum quantity in units of steel can go by 75 as you can see this can only be due to an increase in the factors of production and those factors of production have led to an increase in the units of steel not in the units of wheat 
so these both diagrams can, are tested in the IGCC examinations you can see some sort of uh, MCQs and some sort of questions on these diagrams so you have to learn this and understand this concept now we would go for the definition it is saying an increase in capital goods can only be due to an increase in technology capital goods are machineries used for man-made tools used for produce, production of goods and services so it can only be the increase in capital goods can only be due to an increase in technology so this sounds some sort of logical thing whereas an increase in consumer goods can only be done due to an increase in other three factors of production consumer goods are those goods that are consumed directly so if my land is increasing then my factory would be uh, then i would be using another factory with the with more workers as labor is also increasing and with more machinery as capital is also increasing so i would sorry this is not capital this is enterprise so i would change this to enterprise this is a mistake i would change it to enterprise as i have more knowledge and more ability to run a production process then these all three if these all three are increasing then my consumer goods would be increasing and people would be consuming those goods and services then and there they won't be using any production process anything more in order to make the production process run more further for example if i have bought cotton then some tailors are making some sort of clothes so this is further processing of the good as i purchase the cloth then i made further processing on that good so this will this will be counted as a capital good because the this is not being consumed directly whereas in consumer good the good would be consumed directly there would be no further processing of that good i hope you like the video you understood the concept production possibility curve inshallah in the next video i would be talking about the importance the assumptions and uh, the assumptions of uh, production possibility curve is made on the assumptions then we would go onwards to the next topic the next topic would be allocation of resources the three economies and then we would inshallah go over the demand and supply concept till then like this video subscribe to my channel share this video comment below if you have any questions till then stay blessed stay inspired love you all